spiritual parents, Jehovah Melchizedek Lisbeth, I want to greet you with reverent fear and share the wonders you give us. I also want to extend my greetings to all my brothers in the nations and to all the foreigner brothers who approach the wonderful kingdom of God Melchizedek Lisbeth. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved Mother Christ Lisbeth, I want to thank you for my biological family, for my children, my two grandchildren, and for my two dogs, Bongo and Milo. I also want to thank you because my youngest son, who is also my brother in the faith of Christ Lisbeth, passed 11th grade and is now in his last year of high school. Thank you for my family, friends, neighbors, brothers, sisters, and for all the family of the faith of Christ Lisbeth. I place my entire family in your hands, God Melchizedek Lisbeth, so that you may protect them from evil and bring them to your kingdom of justice and peace. Amen. Hallelujah. In reverent fear, I ask God the Father Melchizedek, in the powerful name of God the Mother, Christ Lisbeth, that these words are entirely pleasing to you and a fragrant aroma. If there is justice of heaven in my petition, and it is your holy and perfect will, may it be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved Mother, on this occasion I would like to share what you placed in my mind regarding a virgin called La Divina Pastora, the Divine Shepherdess, who is venerated and adored with great fervor in Venezuela. A friend of mine sent me a text with a good morning message and a picture of this virgin, the Divine Shepherdess, and I thought it was a beautiful painting, and I said, This is our mother. She is the shepherdess of the sheep. I saved the image to prepare something to exalt our mother, Christ Lisbeth, since we know that she is the only shepherdess, the Christ who came to save man from corruption and death, which is a sure thing for anyone who does not accept her. Amen. Hallelujah. Since I had no information about the Virgin of Venezuela, the Divine Shepherdess, I began to do some research and I rejoiced with everything I found. First, I investigated why she is given the name Divina Pastora, Divine Shepherdess, since they say that Christ is the Good Shepherd and that Jesus is the Shepherd of the Sheep, and in the so-called religions they refer to Christ as man. Why then is a virgin called Shepherdess? and also that it is a woman who shepherds. First, we must know the meaning of the word divine, an adjective of God or of the gods, or related to them. We already know that God is two in one, Melchizedek Lisbeth, God the Father and God the Mother. It also says divine filiation, derived from the Latin divinus, and this from divus, God from the Proto-Indo-European Devas, from the root Diu, meaning heaven, paradise. Mother Christ Lisbeth, thanks to your teachings, we know that this refers to God the Father Melchizedek, who is divine, and to God the Mother Christ Lisbeth, who is divine. We also know that our mother is God the Father's heaven, his mind. She is God's soap of heaven the one who cleanses and purifies God's holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. It is said of this virgin that she is the divine shepherdess of the souls. It is a vocation of the Virgin Mary, presented as a celestial shepherdess. This particular devotion came from Seville, Spain, in the year 1700. A Capuchin friar, Isidoro of Seville, had a vision of the Virgin Mary. Moved by the beauty of this image, the friar went to the workshop of a famous painter, Alonso Miguel de Tovar, who belonged to the Sevillian Pretonic School, and commissioned him to paint the image he had seen in his dream, with the details he had from the vision. The Divine Shepherdess is considered one of the most important religious icons in Venezuela. The Virgin Mary appeared in a country landscape, surrounded by trees and sheep, dressed in a purple tunic, a blue mantle, and holding a shepherd's staff in her hand. 
and close by was a menacing wolf hidden in the bushes, representing the devil's cunning. Beloved Mother Christ Lisbeth, I would like to mention that while researching this information, I was able to see how evil and perverse men, lying scribes and Pharisees, the so-called Catholics, and all who are in charge of spreading lies, began changing the truth as soon as people began venerating and worshiping the Virgin. In each subsequent copy of the painting, everything Fray Isidoro saw in his vision was changed. The painting was altered to their way of thinking, and they began to paint her with a child in her arms, symbolizing the lie that the child is Christ or Jesus. They also began to add flowers in the mouths of the sheep that surround the Virgin. In other versions, they added a stray sheep in the distance being chased by a wolf, which is the enemy. In others, the Archangel Michael appears coming down from heaven with a protective shield and arrow aimed at the cursed wolf's head. And on top of all this, they also changed her clothing. But the most important thing that they concealed is that the Virgin is not the mother of Jesus Christ. She is the Christ. As always throughout the ages, man has changed the truth of God and the message that God brings to the world through his Christ, a virgin, altering them for their own dishonest gain. It is time for everyone to know that it has always been God speaking through his anointed wife, the Christ, and today it is Christ Lisbeth, Our Lady, Jesus Christ Lisbeth. Amen. Hallelujah. The Catholic Church has caused so much damage. All this pertaining to a virgin that shepherds her sheep is another evidence that confirms that Christ is the virgin, a woman. Mother Christ Lisbeth, you are the faith, and it is your faith that pleases God the Father Melchizedek, because you have never doubted that he is God the Father, and that is why all his promises are fulfilled in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that God creates is through Christ, the only one who has the faith that pleases God the Father, and she can be seen just as she is. Only you, Christ Lisbeth, speak the truth, and you are the good shepherd, the female lamb. You say to us, everyone who is of the truth, a faithful child, born of my spiritual womb, Here's my voice. I am here to help you find that door, and all you have to do is be docile to my voice, because I am the door for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the door. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. Only my holy angels have found the door of their salvation and are with me because they know who those thieves and robbers are that claim to be sent by God, but none of them can fulfill the promises of God. Those men promise you freedom, saying that God is with them, but that is a lie. And we listen to your beautiful voice with your message of salvation. I cry tears of joy. What a great privilege, God herself on this earth speaking to all of us. And we, the true worshipers of the era of the fulfillment of the times of Christ Lisbeth, who worship her in spirit and truth, and are her witnesses, urge the world to put her to the test. One cannot know if something is good if it is not put to the test. Pray in the correct way, invoking God the Father, Melchizedek, in reverent fear, in the powerful name of our shepherdess, Christ Lisbeth. And if there is justice in our petition, and it is God's holy and perfect will, may it be done. Amen. Hallelujah. God brought his Christ in the clouds of heaven, and this is figuratively speaking, because the clouds are the minds of their children their worshipers. 
and the sheep are all of us who believe in her and follow her with her word, which is the manna of hidden life, which is being revealed by her for the salvation of all who desire the order of God, Jehovah of the heavenly armies, Melchizedek Lisbeth. Amen. Hallelujah. With the love that our beloved parents have placed in us, their holy angels, we pray correctly as they have taught us, invoking their almighty name, Melchizedek Lisbeth. And our shepherdess, Christ Lisbeth, also prays for all her children and foreigners who will come to her. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not harden your heart, because the light is in the world again. And just as she did wonders in the past, she also does them today among her people. What a great and wonderful privilege to have God herself with us, guiding us in everything just by believing in her, the long-awaited Christ, who has been sent by God the Father Melchizedek. God has always been two in one, male and female. Thank you, beloved parents Melchizedek Lisbeth, for taking care of my entire biological family and me. Beloved Mother Christ Lisbeth, you fill me with your trust and you shelter me. You guide me to green pastures where there are no more tears or death. I am your true shepherd who has told you to have courage and firmness do not be afraid or discouraged, because I, your Lord and God, will be with you wherever you go, and I have proved it to you. Those who do not live the holiness of God that I have brought will not be able to enjoy the enormous privilege of seeing God, nor of knowing us. But if you truly live the holiness that I give you, I guarantee that nothing of what is happening around the world will affect you. And that is because the holiness of Melchizedek Lisbet is our shield that cannot be penetrated. And I have given it to you so that you can feel safe wherever you are. If you do everything I tell you to do, then nothing bad will come to you. That is a promise of God and Melchizedek Lisbet. Do not lie. We fulfill our word. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved parents, Melchizedek Lisbet. I say goodbye to you with your cheer of joy and victory. For having received it, the people of God Melchizedek Lisbeth say, Christ Lisbeth, my God, you are the one who illuminates my life. You illuminate my darkness. With your help, I will defeat the enemy and conquer his cities. Your teachings are perfect. Your word is impeccable, like a shield. You protect those who seek refuge in you. I have believed in Jesus Christ, Lisbeth, to be justified before the eyes of God by the faith of Christ herself, and that is a beautiful reality. Amen. Hallelujah. Your holy angel, star of your womb, Diana Patricia of Melchizedek Lisbeth de Salem. For Melchizedek Lisbeth, for Melchizedek Christ Lisbeth, for our Father and for our Mother. Amen. Hallelujah.